Oliver Becker, fine six under par, 66. Uh, but that last birdie putt of yours on 18, I don't think I've ever seen a ball take a scenic hole of a, tour, a scenic tour of the hole and not go in. Yeah, um, I was very surprised when I when I saw it going about a foot and a half short of the hole. I thought, well, this this has got to go in the hole. There's no way it's going to miss. So a little disappointing. Um, it wasn't an easy putt though because I had a bit of break on it. Um, but yeah, I felt uh, a little bit hard done by the last three holes, uh, to be honest. But still, if you gave me 64 at the beginning of the day, I would have said thank you very much and just uh, took the day off. Particularly with an afternoon tee-off time because uh, wind does tend to come up in the afternoons here. It was a bit windier in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was it a battle? Um, it was. It's actually died down a little bit now, the last two or three holes. But yeah, there was there was a couple of tough holes um, to start the day off. I think three, four, five, and six were were quite quite challenging. And then you came in downwind most of the most of the holes, and then the last couple the wind kind of died down again. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, I think we got very lucky because I thought the wind was going to pick up a touch today. Um, so yeah, glad glad the conditions stayed as as they are. Uh, playing in some some warmth. I mean, you might have been in summer in Europe, but it must have been pretty cool there on a couple of occasions. Yeah, um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we had a bit of weather like we had in Langebaan last week um, over in Europe, even though it was summer. But um, we had we had some nice days out there as well. Um, and it's uh, it's been a privilege actually to go over there and, and play there and play against some of the best players in the world. So yeah, I've been I've been having fun. Uh, to what extent does coming back to South Africa, you know, help in compiling around like you compiled today? Well, this is this is my home, you know. So for me, it's it's always nice to be home, like with friends and family and people you know, and like travel. Traveling is so much easier over here than in Europe. So you come here and you're just in your comfort zone. Um, I like this particular golf course. I think I've played it, probably played it about 10 times. So I, I always enjoy the, the coming here and playing here. So for me, I'm already in a good mood when I get here. So it's, it makes a big difference. I think sometimes you go to a golf course you don't particularly like or something. And then uh, it doesn't matter how good you're playing. You probably you need one or two bad shots or get a couple of bad breaks and you, your mind's uh, off, the, off the golf. So, yeah, I mean, for me, it's... It's great to be back home playing a couple of tournaments and hopefully some of the experience that I've uh, learned over in Europe the last like, four months uh, play off for me this week. Third last year in, in, the, in the same tournament uh, with the 66 closing. Mm -hmm. You must have felt it was uh, in your grasp. A bit of unfinished business? I think I've had a couple of chances to win. I finished second in the National Masters year a couple of years ago as well. Uh, where I finished bogey bogey actually to lose by two. So I think... Uh, beginning of the week I felt my games coming around um, I definitely feel I'm in with a shot especially after today's round.